Peace be with you. It is the Feast of the Annunciation. It is on Thursday in the fifth week of Lent. This is the Collect for the third Sunday after the Epiphany. Let us pray. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior Jesus Christ and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Feast of the Annunciation, of course, is when the angel Gabriel came to Mary and said that she would conceive by the Holy Ghost and um, bear a son named Jesus, who would be the Son of God and the Savior of the world. And of course, Mary said, yes, this collect uh, has a bit to do with that, even though it's not the collect for the day. We're asking God's grace, right? That unmerited favor that gives us the inspiration and impetus to do the good works that God has planned for us. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior, Jesus Christ. As Mary answered readily the call of God through the angel, um, May we also, this colleague says, answer readily the call, whatever that call is, um, through Jesus. And proclaim to all people, uh, Mary in her great prayer, her great song, the Magnificat, proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation. That's what Mary's song did, talked about uh, the God who saves, the God who turns things inside out and upside down. Our job as well as Christians is to proclaim the good news, the gospel of salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works. It's important for us to perceive and understand so that we can then be authentic in our discipleship, authentic in our proclamation, our spread of the good news, so that we can be evangelists um, to the rest of the world. Our saying yes, as Mary did, our understanding what we're getting ourselves into, uh, as, as Mary did, um, gradually, slowly, over time, we don't understand everything all at once, um, gives us what we need then through God's grace, um, gives us the authenticity, gives us the drive, the passion, whatever it is um, that God gives us to spread the good news in the world. And then the colic reigns, of or continues, of course, with the Trinitarian formula. So on this Feast of the Annunciation, um, God no doubt is calling you to do something. Likely you won't be visited by an angel. Likely you won't be given a task as monumental as giving birth to the Savior. That is a one-off. That's a one and done. That has been done for us, thanks be to God. Um, but nevertheless, you have been given a call. You have been given a purpose in your life. You have a ministry. Um, and God does this in partnership with us. God's grace comes first and asks us to do the work that God would give us to do. May you answer yes as Mary answered yes and um, be faithful in whatever it is that God would have you do to spread the good news of his kingdom, his mercy, and of his love. God bless you. Peace be with you.